These are the top five reasons to buy the Samsung Galaxy Fold. You saw it, and you're wondering how to justify that crazy price. We've got you covered. Oh, we'll also give you reasons not to buy the Fold in this video. Let's get to it. At number five is the unknown. Foldable phones are brand new. This could allow for all kinds of new ways to interact with phones and apps. How do you take advantage of two screens on one device? How can apps work on the cover screen? Will widgets make a comeback for that tiny screen? The thing is, there are not a lot of new experiences on the regular slab style phones. A new kind of phone is open to new kinds of experiences. Coming at number four is software. Samsung phones have had some software features before Android proper. Galaxy phones could run two apps at one time well before Google put that into Android. Looking at the way Samsung is handling moving apps from the cover screen to the internal one is promising. The three app multitasking feature is also pretty neat. Plus, Google has supported Samsung in the past. The company pushed for developers to make apps for 18 by nine displays like the Galaxy S series. Google has also said it is supporting foldables within Android at a dev summit last year. A Google rep said it was working closely with Samsung on its foldable. Run that beautiful bean footage. In fact, we're already working closely with Samsung on a new device they plan to launch early next year, which you'll hear about later today. We are now at number three, which is the hardware specs. The Fold has 12 gigs of RAM, 512 gigabytes of storage, and there's no way you're missing a moment because there are six cameras on this thing. Three on the back, one on the front, two when you open it up. There's going to be a 4G and a 5G version, so if you get the 5G version, you can hang on to it when the next gen networks are up and running. On top of that, Samsung displays are excellent. Apple and Google have used Samsung displays for their own phones. If anyone is going to understand how to make flexible OLED phones work and work well, it has to be Samsung. Number two is portability. Samsung has found a workaround for the pocket barrier. Phones have gotten larger and larger and larger. Pockets, well, not so much. When closed, the fold seems a little on the thick side, but it is narrow. It should fit into pockets like the candy bar phones of the past. The smaller cover screen should be good enough for small tasks like email, chats, texts, and weather. By the way, that smaller screen is still over four inches. The inside screen is a whopping 7.3 inches large. It's essentially two devices that you can carry anywhere. It seems like a perfect travel companion. Show your boarding pass on the small screen, watch videos on the big screen. Before we get to number one, let's focus on why no one should buy the Galaxy Fold. I know people are calling this a folding phone, but it's really a folding tablet. Does anyone remember the first gen of Android tablets? They stunk. Samsung will be selling an Android tablet that does not fold for around $400, by the way. The Galaxy Fold is also a first generation product. Who knows how the software and hardware will interact? Then you've got the Samsung speed when it comes to updating Android. Not exactly the best. And the number one reason to buy the Galaxy Fold is the wow factor. Look, it costs nearly $2,000. Samsung has phones with similar specs for less money. The Fold is untested. We don't know how durable it is or its battery life, but the thing you cannot deny is it makes you pause. Smartphones have been dull for a long time. The Galaxy Fold is the opposite of dull. If you're looking for a status symbol or something that is undeniably different, the Fold will be that. That's it for us. Are you thinking about getting a Galaxy Fold? Did the Fold make the S10's $1,000 price tag look good to you? Well, let us know. I'm Ayaz Akhtar and I'll see you online. Happy birthday, brother.